So what do we mean by data cleansing? Well, even if you're not familiar with the term, it's very likely you've already done some data cleansing in Excel. People are always doing it and I'm asked to do it a lot. Uh, data cleansing refers to identifying inaccuracies in data sets. For example, you might have a list of names and if um, some of those names are not spelt correctly, that's going to create errors in your formulae and inaccuracies in your analysis. So at some point, somebody has to go through the whole data set, not a great job, and then kind of manually identify those inaccuracies and fix them. Now, that's a really time consuming and stressful task. I think one of the reasons it's stressful is because you're thinking there must be a better way to do this. Now, with some basic coding knowledge, uh, there is a better way and you can do it uh, much faster and with much less stress. And that's the purpose of this video series, to investigate some simple coding techniques and to apply them to a typical data cleansing problem. There's three uh, steps uh, in the approach we're going to look at. First, we're going to define a range of cells uh, to look at. We're going to dynamically define that range. And that means that if our data set gets uh, smaller or larger, if some rows are added, taken away, our coding will be able to handle that and still look at the whole data set. The next step is we're going to identify uh, inaccuracies. We're going to combine formulae, worksheet formulae, with uh, Visual Basic coding, combine those two together. Always a really powerful approach uh, to identify those inaccuracies. That's the second step. Then finally, we're going to report back uh, to the user. So if there's an inaccuracy, what do you want to do? Do you want to stop there and fix it? Or do you want to go through the whole data set and get a little report at the end flashing up in a message box telling you how many errors they are and how many errors there are, and then hopefully identifying those errors as it goes through so that you can subsequently go back and fix them yourself. So I really recommend downloading uh, the download file, working through the videos, working through um, the spreadsheet yourself. You have to develop the skills, develop the confidence uh, in Visual Basic Coding. If you do that, it's gonna potentially save you a huge amount of time and a huge amount of uh, stress doing this kind of everyday data cleansing task. That's enough from me. I hope you'll join me in the first video.